What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the contains expression. So what is contains? Contains is the function that allows you to see whether a string or whether an array contain a substring or a value. So what does that mean? That means we could pass in a string and then look for a part, uh, a, a part of that string to then say, yes, I found it, or no, I haven't. The same thing with an array. We can pass in an array and that will, and you can search for a value, and then if you find that value in it, you can return a true or a false, depending on that. So let's take a look at it. So we're in Power Automate here. Uh, we've got our flow here. This is just a manual trigger flow with a text input, and we have Compose action here. So I'm clicked into Compose. I'm right across to Expression. Then in Expression, I've got this one in the Collections bit here called Contains. Now the Contains has two inputs, a Collection input and a Value input. So we are going to click on this. Now the Collection is what you're passing in. So in my example, I'm passing in this uh, input from the manual trigger. I'm then going to add a comma and then a single quotation mark and then we're going to look for the um, the string value that we are uh, going to search for. So I'm going to type Fred in. Um, so I'm going to look through the text and see whether Fred is in this, um, in this string. So we'll click OK. That goes into the Compose box there and we'll test this flow. So I'll perform the action. Ask me for an input. I type Fred, run the flow, run successfully. Um, we can see that the output that we put in was Fred and we can see that returns a true. So let's see what happens if we don't put Fred in there. So we'll click test again. I'll perform the action. We'll type um, Barry, just why not? We'll run the flow, uh, we'll press done and we'll see that the input now is false. So what this action does is it looks at the, st the string and sees whether there is a, um, a substring that contains that data. If it does, then it'll return a true. If it doesn't, then it'll return a false. So this could be kind of handy if you are passing in an array or a string and you want to check for a certain email address. And if it's a certain email address, maybe it's a spam email address or a forward mailbox or something like that, you want to stop the logic at that point. Else, if you want to continue on, um, if it's based on something else, you could do something else then. So that's why this is really handy and a really cool expression. So what do you guys think? Do you use this expression a lot? Um, I am just getting to grips with it, so I think it's a really handy thing to have as well. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've not already, please add me on Twitter, at the at D365Geek, uh, and chat to me about Power Automate or all things Power Platform. Ciao for now.